I know Scott Peters, when he came to run for council person in District 1, my district, there just happened to be something about Scott's, his delivery, and I could, I could feel, you can, you can feel in a person that their passion, their passion to, to commitment, to solutions, to get things done. And I thought, wow, this is, this is the person I want to vote for. You know, he's looking out for my neighborhood and stuff like that. So he went on, he went to city council, became the chair of the city council. Didn't disappoint me at all with city council. When I retired, I was appointed as a retiree to be on the labor management committee, continual labor management committee at the Port of San Diego. And Scott, Went through, we went through a crisis like every other agency has gone through, a crisis of we don't have the money, we don't have the income coming in, times are going to be hard. We were able to sit down, and this is the amazing part about it, I have very strong commissioners on there, but Scott was kind of the shepherd, he, he was the commander in chief, he was the port chairman, and he basically bought every right around to, I believe what's his real thought is to, hey, let's not make the middle class people, let's not make the people that work here, make them the victims of this. Let's not make them the, the blame on all of this. Let's take care of them. There were no layoffs at the port. Uh, went into a, people were able to invest in a retirement system, an early retirement system. And by taking a few months of uh, furlough days, as they should say, uh, we managed to go through that crisis. And, uh, and I know, and I, I'm, I, I get emotional when I talk to Scott about it, because I think that's, just a just real, really a, a great deal. He accomplished something. He shepherded those people. You have to see inside of Scott because his facade is what people think. He's a little different, different person. You know, he lives up in La Jolla, something like that. I live in La Jolla. I'm certainly not rich. It's like that. I'm just an average guy. And so uh, he would uh, make you feel that he's there to accomplish things for you. There's it's a genuine sincerity and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a mission, things he wants to accomplish in his voice. But I gotta believe that Scott gets results for anybody he wants to get results for. I strongly, strongly support Scott Peters for Congress.